Internal structure of dicotyledonous leaf. Dicot plants possess dorsiventral leaves which show reticulate venation. If we take a vertical section of the leaf passing through the midrib, it reveals multiple layers of cells. On the upper and lower surfaces, we find a layer of closely packed cells known as the upper epidermis and the lower epidermis respectively. These layers protect the inner tissue and their cells contain few or no chlorophyll. The upper epidermis is covered with a waxy cuticular layer which checks the transpiration to a great extent. Stomata enclosed by guard cells are found both in the upper and lower epidermis. But most stomata are found in the lower epidermis. Below the upper epidermis is the layer of mesophyll cells. These parenchyma cells contain chloroplast. The mesophyll layer can be differentiated into two layers. The upper columnar mesophyll layer is arranged like a fence. Hence it is called the palisade parenchyma. Thin-walled irregular cells are loosely arranged below the palisade parenchyma to form the spongy parenchyma. Large intercellular spaces are present in between them. Chloroplasts are also present in these cells that help in photosynthesis. Palisade and spongy parenchyma together constitute the mesophyll tissue of the leaf. If we now look into the section passing through the midrib region, we can find that each vascular bundle is conjoint, collateral and endarch xylem that is protoxylem orients towards the upper epidermis. The xylem lies towards the upper epidermis while the phloem is present towards the lower epidermis. Border parenchyma or bundle sheath is found surrounding the vascular bundles. Parenchymatous bundle sheath extensions are present below the epidermis. Summary The dorsiventral leaves of a dicot plant show reticulate venation. A section of the leaf shows the epidermis layer present on the boundary of both the sides. The upper epidermis is covered with cuticle. Stomata enclosed by the guard cells are found both in the upper and lower epidermis, but most stomata are found in the lower epidermis. Epidermis is the mesophyll layer which is differentiated into the upper palisade layer and the lower spongy layer. The cells of this layer have numerous chloroplasts. In between the mesophyll layer, we find the vascular bundles made up of xylem and phloem, wherein Xylem orients towards the upper epidermis. The phloem lies towards the lower epidermis. The border parenchyma or bundle sheath is found surrounding the vascular bundles. The parenchymatous bundle sheath extensions are present below the epidermis.